in the kitchen with me again today. So these are some of the ingredients for what I will be making today, which will be a fruit salad. I can make this fruit salad, a big bowl of this fruit salad, and eat on it for three and four days. It's a little richer than regular fruit, but it's better than a lot of cakes and pies, especially with the holidays coming up. And this can go on anyone's table as either a fruit salad or you can bring it out later as a dessert. And these are just the uh, apples and pears that I'm going to put in this fruit salad. Another thing, it is so quick. Don't you love quick dishes? It is so quick. You can just change the, the um, uh, fruits around to your taste. But this is how I make it. So I'm just showing you this to start. And I will go ahead and cut up the and fruit. I'll show you how to mix it all together. Okay, we have the um, apples and pears cut up in bite sized chunks. So now we're going to add an orange. Go light on the oranges because too many oranges can overwhelm the salad and make it eventually bitter. So I find just adding one orange. This is just going to give it a little zing. Just make them small so they can go throughout the salad. And later on, if you want more, you can add more. And I like to add a little bit of kiwi just for color and flavor. A little bit of kiwi. Chop it up in small pieces so it will circulate throughout. Let's kind of keep mixing it. Now would be a good time to put a little bit of salt. You got to put a little bit of salt out. That's enough. There you go. Actually, that's the only other seasoning you put on it. The only seasoning. Really good. Now we're going to add some raisins. About, I'd say, three-fourths of a cup of raisins. You got the raisins in. Now we're going to add and this is optional. Shelled walnut. Now, we're going to add some mini marshmallows. See, this is what makes it uh, dessertish. We're going to add the marshmallows about half the, the, the um half the small bag. I'm going to add three small bananas. Last thing to do is to add some mayonnaise to bond it all together. I'd say about four tablespoons of mayonnaise should work. We just mix it together, all together. So the mayonnaise is covering 
is throughout the salad. And it's all mixed in with the mayonnaise. If you had a bigger bowl, it would go faster. I'm trying to keep it from uh, falling outside the bowl. Mix it all together. Bring it from the bottom to the top. You can see the mayonnaise throughout, just the way it's supposed to be. Fruit is supposed to be um, coated with the mayonnaise. Each one marshmallows you can also add grapes to this grapes make it really colorful and they taste just fine strawberries in the summertime mmm very good very good there you go this in a, the appropriate dish. Now the biggest tip for today concerning this salad is if you let it set overnight it gets even better. Even better. It's good now. It's good enough to eat and enjoy. But you let it sit overnight in a, put it in a um, Tupperware or a plastic. And just let it sit overnight. Oh, it seems like all of the juices, they just blend into one. And this fruit softens and it, it just gets so good. So good. There. You have it. Fruit salad. I'm going to transfer this to a container that I already had prepared. And then I'm going to let it sit overnight. is going in the refrigerator. Even a few hours will help it just sit and just all blend in together. Hmm, may as well taste it. Mmm. Mmm. That is so good. 